Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a, a really lovely Sunday. Mine's just been quite lazy, to be honest, which uh, is lovely. I had a lie in, which I haven't had in such a while. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you're having a lovely day. Today I'm back with a book haul for you all. Um, it's one that I recently did from thebookpeople.co.uk. Um, if you haven't checked them out, I really highly recommend that you do. Um, they're updating their list quite frequently now with the books they have on there. Um, and I found so many bargains and things like I've got John Green's um, The Faulkner Stars and things and they're, they're, they are really doing well with keeping things updated um, and they're really good bargains actually um, and their delivery is you know free delivery over £25 I think or something like that um, but yeah highly highly recommend you check them out so let's get started I'll show you what I got I think these are all still available on the website as well um, and keep they they do have like really good flash sales and things and discounted books so definitely keep an eye out periodically if you sign up to their newsletter they let you know because I know the last week they had every day they had a different sale on one was a flash sale one was buy one get one half price and things like that and free delivery and things and so I highly recommend that so let's see what we've got first off I got dark inside um, they actually have a whole section of YA books and this is where I found that so. Which is really good, and I think I'll go my invoice here just to give you um, an idea of how much it was. This is a hardback, and this was three ninety nine. Um, I mean, you know, I couldn't resist. Um, I don't know what all of these are about. Um, this is like a post apocalyptic book, so um, I'm quite excited to read that. Um, next, I got a book that's been going on for a while, and I've heard quite mixed reviews to be honest, but. Anything with Jack the Ripper, I'm quite intrigued. So, it's The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson. So, again, this was Name of the Star, £3.49. So, you know, retails for £6.99. So, you, you know, I can't really complain. Um, the next one is another one I've been meaning, and I don't know why I haven't got it in my collection. But it's um, Pitticus Law, I am number four. And this was £2. Again, I can't remember if some of these were on the sale or not, but I think generally the most paperbacks retail for is £3.49, I think, or the ones that I'm interested in anyway, so that was a good bargain. Um, next, I've got Gillian Flynn Collection, um, and these have been around for, you know, this has suddenly hit Booktube. This is Gone Girl, um, Sharp Objects and Dark Places. Um, they're paperbacks, but the three of these cost um, four ninety nine, and I know that Gone Girl's been in Tesco, and I think it's on the two for seven pound deal. And I think it's like three pound forty nine each, um, so four ninety nine. I mean, I can't go wrong, can I? Um, let's see what else we got. Next, I have an F. Scott Fitzgerald vintage collection. And they're these lovely editions. Um, and in there I have The Beautiful and Damned, The Great Gatsby and Tender is the Night. And the three of these were £3. Seriously? £3, they were a pound each. I, I mean, seriously. <laughs> um, and I really want to read The Great Gatsby. I have another edition from the works, so which is a nice hardback edition, but I really want to read The Great Gatsby um, before seeing the movie, which is coming up this month, I believe. Um, next is one that a lot of you have been mentioning as well, and it's Department 19 by Will Hill. Um, this was £3.49 as well, um, but again, I mean, it's a bargain. I couldn't resist, and it's something I think I, I'm going to enjoy reading, so I look forward to that. Next, I have the Introducing Vampires collection. Um, and it has The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong, Marked by PC and Kristen Cast, and Blue Bloods by Melissa Dela Cruz. So if you can, which way around is it? That way? Nope. <laughs> that way? Yeah. Um, I've got The Awakening and The Summoning already, but I had The Summoning in the Mass Market paperback edition, and it was a really tiny book in comparison. And The Awakening I have in this cover, so it's really nice to get that. Um, but I've not read Marked, which I think is in a House of Night series, and Blue Bloods um, has been raved about so much, so I'm really excited to to get into those. And again, they were 
Seriously, they were three pound. So get a pound each. I, I couldn't really turn them down. Um, next is Charlene Harris, the Sucky Stackhouse Companion. Um, as you know, I love, love, love True Blood. <sighs> Just lust over that a little bit. Um, and for my, I think it was my birthday or Christmas book haul that I did on my channel, I actually got the 10 um, Charlene Harris Sucky Stackhouse set. So this is going to be a really nice sort of addition to that. Still more to go. <laughs> Um, I got Jessica Ennis Unbelievable, which is her autobiography. Um, and I love athletics, and I mean, Great Britain had a fantastic Olympics last year. Um, and I was so chuffed for her. So I'm really looking forward to getting into that. And I think my mother wants to read that after me as well. Ooh, sorry, uh, the Sucky Stackers Companion book was £3, and the Jessica Ennis book was £2.99. And I know the cheapest I've seen elsewhere, I think, is for £6. So absolute bargain again. Um, the next one I got, because you know I love my cookbooks, I got the Fabulous Baker Brothers Glorious British Grub and they've got a TV show on as well so definitely check them out because they're fantastic. This was... this was £5 and it retails for 20 so that was... I just snapped that up when I saw it so that's really good. And then the last one, but there are two books, um, and I'm not quite sure why there are two books, why I ordered two. Um, there might have been already one in my cart when I ordered it. It's Lainey Taylor's The Days of Blood and Starlight. And this is the sequel to Daughter of Smoke and Bone, which has been raved about and I still, I've had it for such a long time on my shelf, but I haven't actually um, read it yet. Um, but yes, I do actually have two copies of this but what I might do um, I think I'm gonna give one away in a giveaway obviously <laughs> um, but I'm not sure when I'm gonna do that um, I might do when I reach 200 subscribers possibly um, so like and comment and subscribe below sorry shame myself promoting there um, but yeah I'm really looking forward to this because people have raved so much about this this series and I think it's I think it's a trilogy is that right correct me if I'm wrong um, but yeah, that then wraps up my entire um, book people books. Um, I've only got a few, but I, I, I am starting to realise that I, I do have a problem with buying books <laughs> a lot. Um, I'll just give you an overview, it's a bit easier because I said I'd do an overview haul of like the books I purchased this year. Well, if you take a look at that bookshelf that concludes everything that I've actually bought this year so yeah um, that's only a slight problem really don't you think Ooh, sorry you're falling over um, so yeah sorry um, but it's been a good day today um, I need to sort these books out but I have actually found um, a lot of, if you've seen on Twitter, I posted a photo. Um, I found Point Horror books and things from the Arctic. Um, proper childhood memories time because I had some Roald Dahl books, and some Narnia books. Um, I'm looking at there because I've just organised them all. Um, well, I say organised, I've just put them on my bookshelf. But in there, I also have my entire Goosebumps collection. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So I might do another video on all of those if you're interested. It's always good to have some uh, childhood memories. But yeah, that's that sort of wraps this video up. I went off on a, on a tangent a little bit. Um, but I hope you're all having a lovely Sunday and happy reading and I'll speak to you all soon.